Hello everyone and good morning. I'm Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you this gentle morning yoga flow. However, this flow can be done at any point in the day if you feel like you need to slowly wake your body back up. So we're going to begin in a nice seated position and take a few deep breaths. As you sit here, with those inhales and exhales, try and lengthen through that spine. On your next inhale, we're going to open the arms to the side in a cactus formation. Then exhale, bring those wrists out in front of you and add a few little wrist circles. Inhale again to open into that cactus position. And then exhale, interlacing the fingers and adding a few more little wrist circles. Inhale, open to cactus, stretch the chest. Exhale, arms out in front of you. Turn those palms so they're facing away and then add a few little palm pulses. Inhale again, cactus the arms. Exhale, this time keep those palms facing towards you and add a few more pulses. Inhale again, cactus the arms, then reach up, interlace the fingers, exhale for a deep stretch. Good. Inhale, come forwards to your tabletop position. Take a breath here. And on that next inhale, extend the right leg back and the left arm forwards for a balancing table. On your exhale, bring that knee to your nose and bring the left arm back. Inhale again to reach to balancing table and exhale knee towards the nose. Inhale, reach. Just working on the balance this morning, slowly waking up the core and the hips and the legs and the shoulder. Keep it going, inhaling to reach and exhaling to bring that knee to the nose. Good. This time, when we go backwards, we're going to reach that left hand for the right foot. If you don't make it, that's okay. And just kick that back leg up for a tiger. Inhale back to tabletop and bring it back to neutral. Take a breath. Then inhale, extend the left leg back, reach the right arm forwards. Taking it to the other side, exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale, reach the right arm forwards. Exhale, right arm back, knee to nose. Inhale, right arm forwards, left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, keep it going. Link your breathing, strong core. Good. Now we're going to reach that right hand for the left leg if you can. Don't worry if this is too much for you this morning. Kick the left leg up and then release to your balancing table and back to your tabletop. Take a breath. And on the next exhale, tuck those toes under, peel the hips up and back, coming into your downward facing dog. So bend those knees. If you're here early in the morning, then you'll be a little bit stiffer than if it was later in the day. Find that alignment and feel free to add a little bit of a slow pedal to the legs this morning. Bending one leg and bending the other knee and alternating sides. Good, bring it back to a neutral position. Take a breath. On the next inhale, 
walk up between the hands, come into a halfway lift, and then exhale, fold forwards. Keep a bend in those knees. Then press into the feet. Inhale, rise up to a chair pose. Sink the hips back. And exhale, lift upwards. Connect the palms. Coming into our mountain position. Next, inhale, sweep the arms up. Maybe add a little bit of a back bend. And then exhale to cactus the arms. Inhale to your chair pose, sinking the hips back. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step it back to your plank. Take a breath. And next, exhale, lean forwards and down. Inhale to a cobra. Exhale, chest to the mat. Slide those arms forward and inhale to your sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders. Pull the chest forward. Exhale, lift those hips up and back to dolphin. Take a breath. Then bring the knees back to the mat. Walk those hands in. Tuck the toes under and peel it up to your downward facing dog. Take another deep breath here. Then inhale, walk up between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Bending the knees. Inhale to your chair pose. Shift the gaze up and exhale, come back to mountain. Take a breath. Next, inhale, reach the arms up and exhale to cactus. Inhale again into your chair pose. Exhale, fold forwards. So we're just going to deepen into the hamstrings here a little bit more. So either slide those hands up on the thighs and then open, or keeping the left arm on the mat, reach the right arm up, bend the left knee and extend the right leg. Right hand comes to the mat, take it to the other side. So again, that right hand can be on the right thigh instead, but we're trying to extend the left leg a little bit. Good, come back to middle. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank. Then lower the knees to the mat, shifting forwards and down, inhaling to cobra. Exhale, bring the chest to the mat. Slide the arms forward, elbows under the shoulders. Inhale to lift the chest to our sphinx pose, pulling that chest forward. Exhale, lift those hips up and back to your dolphin. Bend the knees, take a deep breath here as you open those shoulders. Inhale, come into your tabletop position. Exhale, peel the hips up and back to your downward facing dog. Take another deep breath in. Then inhale, walk between the hands, come into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Again, we're gonna open to the left. So extend the left leg, bend the right knee. And other side, modify if you need to. Bring it back to the middle. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and then inhale to chair. Exhale, release that mountain position. Inhale, sweep the arms up. 
and exhale, fold forwards again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank. And on your next exhale, maybe lowering all the way to the mat or holding your chaturanga. Then inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Take a breath. And then from here, we're going to either head straight into our three-legged dog or inhale first to plank. Raise the right leg. And then head into your three-legged dog. Today we're going to try and bring the head towards the foot in our three-legged dog. So very gently adding a back bend. Then exhale, bring that leg through and between the hands. Coming into our runner's lunge. And then pivot the left heel to the mat. Inhale, rise up to that warrior two. Looking past the front right arm, keeping the right knee over the ankle. Slowly warming up the body here. Maybe if you want to challenge yourself deep a little bit more into the warrior stance. And then we're going to bring the right arm under the left, eagling the arms and pivoting the right foot towards the long edge of the mat in line with our other foot. Press the elbows out. And exhale, coming into warrior two on the other side. So the left foot now points towards the back short edge of the mat and shift your gaze over that left arm. Take a breath. Continue to breathe deep throughout this entire practice. On your next exhale, windmill the hands to the mat, coming into runner's lunge on the other side. And then bring that left leg up and back into our three-legged dog here. Trying to bring that left foot for the head. Exhale, bring that left leg in through the middle to plank and step it back, lowering forwards and down, either onto the stomach and then inhaling to cobra or upward facing dog and exhaling to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Maybe release that body down. Maybe try and extend the legs a little bit further now. And then again, inhale, raise the left leg up for three-legged dog. Heading straight there this time and try and shift that left foot towards the head. Then step the left leg up. Runner's lunge on the same side that we just did. Get your base. Pivot on the back right foot, bringing the right heel to the mat, toes facing the long edge. Then inhale to windmill it up to your warrior two. Maybe going a little bit deeper this time. And then bring that left arm under the right for eagle arms, turning the left foot towards the long edge of the mat. Keeping this wider stance. Press the elbows out. Gently stretching the shoulders. And exhale, release. Come back into warrior two, pointing towards the front of your mat again. Take a breath. Next, exhale, windmill those hands down. Pivot on the back foot so we're back in that runner's lunge. We're going to reach that right foot up and back into three-legged dog, trying to bring the foot towards the head. Good, release that right foot down into your downward facing dog. Stretching that back out. Down dog feels fantastic in the mornings. Just decompressing the spine. And 
next inhale, walk your way between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Bend the knees, inhale to that chair pose. Hold. Then exhale, bring the palms together, hook that left elbow on the right knee. Inhale, turn the gaze upwards, lift the chest upwards for a twisted chair. Inhale again to the middle. Exhale, other side. Right elbow hooks on to the left knee. Inhale, lift the chest, shift the gaze upwards. Inhale, back to the middle. And exhale, take a seat on the mat. Tuck those knees into your chest. Find a little bit of a straight spine here. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Place them a comfortable distance away from your body. And we're going to focus on trying to tilt down towards the feet today. So opening a different part of the hips in our bound angle. Don't worry about pressing the knees to the mat. Just focus on trying to fold forwards, even if it's just a little bit here. Breathe into the stretch. Inhale, rise back up neutral spine and then find a comfortable seat I will turn to face you but you can stay right where you are inhale reach the arms up and exhale open them into a cactus position we're gonna inhale to connect the palms and press them together then press the forearms together Bring them down through the middle and just take a second to thank yourself for starting your day in this amazing way. I will thank you so much for joining me. We'll finish here. I hope to see you again soon. And if you liked the video, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you next time.